TikTok. All right, so I'm always raving on about how dating apps are the holy grail of OnlyFans marketing, but don't be fooled. Don't you be think I'll be sleeping on TikTok as a source of traffic for my girls' OnlyFans accounts, all right? TikTok is right up there as a close second. So let me give you a rough little guide on how we set up the account and find the right audience to show the content to before going live, all right? Hey, I'm Bjorn Olsen from yourofempire.com and the Empire Forums. I'm the owner of the OnlyFans Empire, an OnlyFans management agency managing girls in the top 1% from all over the world completely remotely. Hence different hotel rooms and all my different videos. Check out our agency at yourofempire.com or check out my social media at Bjorn Olsen Official on all major social media platforms. But for now, let's get back to my video. So, first thing is we purchased an iPhone XR. Why iPhone XR, do you say? Because... They are kind of cheap and really good quality. If you're using an iPhone later than this, then I would say that's overkill because I'm assuming you wanna create more than one TikTok account and I'm assuming you want to manage more than one model. Or if you are the model, I'm assuming you wanna create more than one TikTok account. So iPhone XR is the way to go. And you'll say to me, yeah, but I can use Android. <laughs> but if you get an iPhone XR, it can also double up for our iPhone method when you wanna create dating apps. Now you can't do really do both at the same time because when a dating app profile gets banned on that iPhone XR, you can't create another dating app profile for the same app unless you reset the device and that will mean getting rid of the TikTok account. So it's more so if you're not using it for TikTok, then you can use it for dating apps. But iPhone XRs, that's what we do. You can do what you want, all right? So once we've got the iPhone XR, then we'll ship it off to the model. Now, if you wanna do this, make sure your contract is tip top and tight and make sure you trust them because then if you want to really scale it, we actually send off multiple iPhone XRs to the model. And then what we do is, let me show you, we'll get them to grow the account to 1K followers, but I've skipped a step, all right? So before that, we will purchase the iPhone XR and then we'll set it up. Now, depending on the audience that you want to see the content, you'll purchase a SIM for that country. So for example, if you are living in Australia, where I am, and you wanna show the TikTok content to the USA, all you need, wait for it, all you need is a SIM card for the US. Now I know with dating apps, you need a spoof location, you need a proxy this, you need an anti-detect browser, you need to do all this and the photos and oh my God. TikTok, for some reason, is very different. And all you need is a SIM card with a number for the country where you wanna show the content to. So as I said, say if you're living in Australia and you want to show the TikTok content to the US, all you need is a US SIM card. You don't even need data on it. So you can get a US SIM card from one of these places. You get J1 SIM, tick cards, or you can get one off Amazon. Then you'll order it, and once you've got it, you'll activate the SIM, put it in the phone, and you don't even need to use the data. You can use a Wi-Fi. You can use Wi-Fi wherever you want. Or if you're at home, you can get the model to use their Wi-Fi, whatever. All TikTok cares about is where the number is from, what country the number is from. So you'll open up TikTok, TikTok will go, hmm, what kind of number is that? Oh, that's a USA number. It doesn't give a shit if the phone is in Australia or say that's a USA number. They must be in the USA and they'll start showing the content to the USA. So you'll do that. Now, you can either set this up inside the iPhone and then send it to the model, or you can even get the model to use your own phone. If you get them to use your own phone, ship the SIM card to them. I would suggest setting it all up yourself and then sending it to the model, but look, if it works, it works. But the main thing is you want the model to grow the account themselves until you get to a thousand followers. So you get them to post whatever. Yeah, you can help them out with trends and niches, whatever. Just make, just get them to grow it to a thousand followers and then we start doing some damage. So once it got to a thousand followers, then you start organizing content plan, like niche, trends, you'll find daily trends, you'll send it to the model, get them to replicate it and post it. Or you can do all the technical stuff and you can replicate it and remove metadata and all that and blast it on multiple TikToks, you can do that too. But don't worry about it until you get to over a thousand followers. Now the main reason you wanna get to a thousand followers is because then you can go live. Now, once an account's over a thousand followers, then you'll get the model to start going live. What do they have to do when they go live? anything. What I found was that the more innocent the live is, the higher converting it was. So we normally get the models to just paint their nails, draw, wear one building Legos. And what happened? The subs get very curious. They start paying attention to the live, watching it, talking with the model, 
and then they'll go to buy oh insta or oh whatever oh website oh clogged website that's technical stuff and they'll funnel through but what i found is that the more innocent it is the more converting it is you don't have to do that though you can get them doing skimpy dances and that look if you want to risk it for the biscuit go right ahead but i'd say just get them doing normal stuff nails whatever and then once they're doing that on one phone then you scale up what do you do when you scale up uh -huh. purchase two more two more sims send them all to the model and then when the model grows it you organize the content plan for all the phones and then when they go live guess what they go live on all the phones you get a ring light multiple phone holders go live on all of them at once and guess what that means printing money that is just like peak hour traffic and that's what we do so that's the quick little guide to how we grow the tiktok accounts and how we generate traffic from tiktok to the OnlyFans accounts. Hope you liked it. If you want to see more content, go smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on another video.